In 1937, my grandparents, Francis and Albert, moved to California from Nebraska. And they'd lived through the Dust Bowl, which was in the early 1930s in the Nebraska area. And it was a pretty tough time. It was really hard, hard living, hard to farm. And, but it was during, those, during that time and through those experiences that they really developed even a deeper sense of stewardship for the land. And uh, Grandpa really had, at that time, made a commitment that he would, he would continually to grow cover crops, uh, leaving the, um, the, the soil continually covered. Really the only thing that's truly adapted to this area is rice, and they'd started farming rice here in 1913. And uh, he also uh, had decided uh, that he would never burn the rice straw, that the rice straw was an incredible uh, resource for building soil. Their dad formed a family farm uh, that they called Weha, and that was an acronym of their family name. And as they farmed as a group, they saw that to farm together was much easier than farming apart because then they could really spread the risk out between them and then they could also share when they had good years. It was, uh, I believe it was in 1976 that we bought a form and fill packaging machine. And what that allowed us to do is to go from those big 100 pound and 50 pound bags that just had our name stenciled on the side of it where people could scoop into it and buy it in bulk to a package that had our name on it that someone could buy. So now as they're eating it, they realize, oh, Lundberg, these are the people that make this great rice. And now people started associating this wonderful rice they were eating with our name. And we started being able to build the business and build a brand. Today, Lumberg Family Farms is the nation's leading producer of organic rice and rice products. After more than 75 years of farming, Lumberg Family Farms continues to honor a foundational partnership with nature by conserving, innovating, and nourishing for a healthier world. The eco-friendly farming techniques of Lumberg Family Farms are more time-consuming and expensive than conventional farming techniques. But organic farmers like Bryce Lumberg know that patience and imagination can lead to innovative agricultural breakthroughs and a healthier environment. Organic farming and organic rice farming really involves um, uh, having a, a natural fertility in the soil. And uh, we, we work with the natural fertility by growing cover crops. It's really important not to grow you know, rice year after year after year just on the same field. It's really important to have a crop rotation. And crop rotation is one of the building blocks of, of successful organic farming. This plant doesn't really use nitrogen. It makes nitrogen. And then the, uh, the, it leaves the nitrogen for the, the next crop that's going to use the nitrogen. Like all living things, soil needs to rest. By rotating in cover crops, periodically letting fields fallow, and encouraging waterfowl to rest on the fields in the winter, the soil is able to accumulate nutrients. This rest allows the soil to become healthier and more fertile for future growing seasons. The big challenge we have in organic rice is with weeds. We have two kinds of weeds. We have grass weeds and we have water weeds. And the grass weeds we have a real challenge at the beginning of the year, right when we plant the seed of drowning grass. Organic rice farmers like Bryce Lumberg view water management as a key method of weed control. Because organic rice farmers cannot use chemical herbicides or pesticides, they use their knowledge of plants to either drown or dry up weeds common to rice fields. The precise balance between drowning out dryland weeds and drying up the aquatic weeds requires extremely attentive farming which often results in significant water conservation. One of the concerns we have at Lundberg Family Farms is that if we were gonna plant this field to rice this year, that one of the first things we would do is um, mow the field. And in doing so, it puts those birds that start to nest early at great risk. And so uh, we have had a program we call Egg Aid, where those fields that we're gonna turn the uh, cover crop back into the soil, we come out to the fields and flush the mother hens off their nests 
and rescue those eggs before uh, the tractors come in to mow the cover crop down. We've rescued thousands of eggs over the years in this program and, and it's really been a, uh, a wonderful uh, partnership with, uh, with nature. Our company started on whole grain brown rice and since 1969 when we started the mill we've built on a base of 17 different varieties of rice and over 250 different rice products and yet because rice is such an amazing grain and it's such a clean product we can make products that are whole grain that are gluten free that are healthy that give people options for their diet. So whether you're someone that has dietary needs, like perhaps you're gluten intolerant, or maybe you have celiac disease, or maybe you're someone that just wants to have a healthy diet and add more whole grains. We've got everything from rice cakes to pasta to boxed items like our risottos, our side dishes, even our, our chips, which I wouldn't say are healthy, but they're a healthier option to a traditional chip. We've got over 20 different kinds of rice cakes. And uh, if you just look at our rices, we, with those 17 different varieties. We have uh, short, medium, long jasmines, basmatis, we have Italian arborio, we have Japanese varieties. It just gives people this amazing range of products, things that they can buy and taste and share with their family and really explore. How am I gonna cook this? How can I make my life more interesting by trying these amazing, wonderful products? Part of sustainability for our company and for our family is that uh, we're planning for the future and we're doing that in a lot of different ways. One is with our, our business planning, we're looking out at where we think the company can go, where we can take our products and who's, who really would want to have our products and then what other kinds of things can we do with rice. But we're also looking at our facility, we're building a, an office and we're adding on to our warehousing and we're looking at how, how many more of our processes and products we can make here at Richvale and then we're looking at, uh, at the future of the leadership of the company. And we have an internship program where our fourth generation is encouraged to come and spend time working through the different departments and learning about the business and seeing if they have a passion for this and if, uh, if they want to work here. I think the, a lot of the future of the farm involves continuing that kind of family uh, history and the family legacy of being, being open to, uh, to those who are coming next teaching them how to farm and how to farm with nature. We used to be a family farm and then we became a rice company and now we're really a food company and we see that through each of those things we have a really rich history and we have an amazing legacy and we have a reputation built on everything that we've learned as we've gone from the family farm to a food company. As Lumberg Family Farms grows, they continue practicing environmental stewardship, providing safe and fair working conditions, and growing healthier rice for people to enjoy. Lumberg Family Farms works to continually improve as a company, a farm, and a family business. <laughs>